final video of the year you guys i'm so 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 thankful for all the love that you showed me in this previous year it was unbelievable thank you so much i love you from the bottom of my heart you guys i know i don't say that enough but trust me it's wherever i am right now it's all because of you so thank you so much so so it's the new year's guys everyone likes to get ready i'm also one of them i literally sit two days before and plan my outfit and my makeup so here i am to help you guys out to decide what makeup to wear so i'm going to be showing you two different looks one is going to be a simple look for all the girls out there who like to go on the simple route you know to look very very glowy and a uh, very natural but yet you know put together and the second look is going to be a glam look where i'm going to be showing you all how to achieve that full glam for all the girls out there who like to go on the bolder side so yeah let's quickly get started so the first look is going to be a very glowy makeup look so i've already moisturized my skin make sure you also do it very very well so that you know your skin looks healthy and then to add up the glow i am going to be using the master strobing cream by uh, Maybelline and I'm going to apply this at the highest points of my cheeks a little bit around just to give it a little bit of glow and then just blending it out with my beauty blender going to be using a foundation i want the skin to peek through i want it to look healthy and glowy so i do not want to cover it with a foundation so we are just going to spot conceal under my eyes as you guys can see a little bit around my mouth because i'm a little bit darker there wherever you feel like you know you need a little bit of coverage to even out your skin tone that is where we are going to use a concealer so i just removed a little bit on the back of my hand and i'm just going to take little by little And I'm also gonna apply this on my eyelids to just give it an even tone. So now that the makeup does not move during the night, I'm gonna set it with a translucent powder. I'm just using the Maybelline's Fit Me Loose powder, and I'm just gonna use a brush to set it. So for our eyes, we are gonna keep it super duper simple, but yet party like. And for that, all you need is a liquid eyeshadow. The one which I have is the. a uh, wet and wild mega last liquid eyeshadow in the shade cashmere love similar to these you get a lot of different eyeshadows i have these nika ke glittery uh, liquid eyeshadows these are like super duper easy to use all you do is just apply them on your lids and spread it with a brush and this one in particular is so affordable as well as this looks so beautiful i was wearing this particular eyeshadow in a wedding recently and i got so many compliments and trust me i was just wearing this and it looked so beautiful i'm just going to take this apply it on my eyes just like that like a good amount of it okay and then just take any fluffy brush that you have and just spread it out apply lots and lots of mascara it's been so long since i got so close to someone i know this ain't love but let me stay oh i ah 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 pull me close to now just to give it a little bit of shape to my face i am going to contour but nothing too fancy i'm just going to use the nikas or uh, contour and contour palette this is an amazing product you guys to contour with it really really precisely contours and i'm just using my pro art pf 14 brush 
to precisely like contour just a little bit I'm not gonna bronze or anything I'm just gonna give that a shadow Obviously, I'm gonna add lots of blush because that's how you're gonna look healthy. And for that, I'm just using my Milani's Color Harmony Blush Palette in the shade Coral Beams. Now, this is a very beautiful corally blush with a little bit of sheen to it. No. And then, obviously, I'm gonna apply highlighter, but I'm gonna make my highlighter look a little bit wet. So, for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolutions Sofax palette and I'm going to be using this particular shade right here. So, for that, I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to take this highlighter from here and then I'm going to apply it on the highest points of my cheeks. And now to melt all the powders on the face, I'm just gonna set everything with a setting spray and I'm using the Milani's Make It Last setting spray. And then just with my beauty blender, I am just melting everything. Just so that everything looks glowy. So for lips, I'm gonna give you two options. One is a nude lip and one is a bold lip. So the first combination is gonna be of the Miss Claire uh, lip pencil in the shade Mild Maroon along with a uh, PAX Retro Matte Gloss in the shade Potty. For all those girls out there who like to go a little bit bold with their lips, Second option, which is a combination of Nykaa's Lip Stone Li uh, Lip Liner in Sweetheart Pink and NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen. Copenhagen, I do not know how to pronounce it, but such a beautiful shade. glam and it's gonna be like a full coverage uh, like all out makeup look so first we are gonna start off with priming because we want our makeup to last the entire night so this Milani primer actually fills in my pores pretty well and it does not make me oily and it helps me put my foundation a little bit smoother it makes my foundation look a little bit smoother so that's why I'm using this primer and I'm just applying this near my t-zone region that is where I get oily the most so for foundation i am going to be using the milani's conceal and perfect 2 in 1 uh, foundation plus concealer now i chose this foundation in particular because it's a medium to full coverage foundation and it lasts a long time so it's gonna last you the entire night on top of that the plus point about this is it's a very natural looking glowy foundation it's not like that matte finish uh, that is why i chose this one and ever since i tried this foundation from my previous video i've been using this non-stop it's a very good everyday foundation and it suits my oily skin type so well then we're gonna conceal our dark circles and spots if you have any i particularly feel like this foundation covers all the spots i just need a little bit of concealing for that i'm just using my maybelline's fit me concealer in the shade medium set my entire base with the Milani's translucent banana powder I used this in my previous video and oh my god this powder is so good it's very finely milled and it sets your face so well and makes your skin look very very smooth so for my eyebrows I am gonna be making them a little bit bolder like usually the sharp eyebrows that I love so uh, I'm using the Milani's uh, Stay put brow color in the shade dark brown guys I'm just using all the products that I used in my previous video because I ended up loving them and I've been using them non-stop so that's why so I've decided for the eye makeup I'm gonna be doing a gold brown smoky eye and for that you need only three eyeshadows one is a 
lighter brown one is a darker brown and one is a gold eyeshadow so i'm going to be using all these three from the milani's gilded desires palette you all can find these three eyeshadows in a lot of different palettes so i'm just using a blending brush to apply this lighter brown shade in my crease and my transition area And then I'm going to be using this darker brown shade right here with my pack 107 brush and I'm going to apply this in my outer corners. Just taking a little at a time and then building it up. And then for my eyelids, I'm gonna be using this golden shade called as a uh, desire for gold. You see that beautiful shade. And then I'm just gonna like blend this out a little bit. You can leave your eyes at this and just apply lots and lots of mascara, smoke out the brown underneath but that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna be applying a winged liner because I feel like you know my eye shape, uh, like my eye, eyes are a little drooped down so I want to lift it up so for that purpose I'm gonna be applying eyeliner and the eyeliner that I am using is the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner. So I'm just gonna use a mascara. This is the Milani's Lash Trifecta Lens Plus Curls Plus Separates Mascara. I am gonna be using lashes. Y'all can definitely skip lashes. And for lashes, I'm gonna be using the Nazakat Lash by Henna Henna Beauty. So next, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite products, uh, the Milani XL Bronzer. No, no, I don't need a degree to know this ain't love at first sight. You guys know that I've been loving blush, so I'm gonna apply lots and lots of blush. You guys also should apply blush, it makes you look very, very pretty. So for highlighter, I'm gonna be using the highlighter from this palette itself. So just to amp the look a little bit more, I'm gonna apply a little bit of glitter and for that I'm just using my Radiant Liquid Eyeshadow from Nika K in the shade Orchid Titan. I just want a little bit of glitter because it's New Year's guys. It calls for glitter. Setting everything in place as well. So for lips, I'm first gonna give you a one muted option. For that, I'm just using the Milani's uh, Amor Matte Lip Cream in the shade Love. This is one of my favorite pinky nude shades I can't stop this feeling's taking over me I want to give you all a darker lip option because I know a lot of you like to wear darker lipsticks, reds, browns and you know plums. So today I'm going to be using the NYX Full Throttle lipstick in the shade Con Artist. This is my all time favorite deep red color and first I'm going to line my lips with my Miss Claire Glimmer Sticks for lips in the shade Brown. So yeah guys, those were the two makeup looks that I wanted to share with you guys so that you know, y'all get a little bit of an idea of what to wear on 
New Year's. I hope this video helped you guys out and let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite one and what kind of makeup look are you gonna wear for this New Year's. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna be seeing you all next year. Uh, I cannot believe it that this year is over. But this was a very, very good year, you guys. Thank you so much for all the love that you gave me. I love you. So I'll see you all in the next year. Until then, bye.